So Camp Little Falls is the 2023 dance show for players, which I am super excited for. It is basically an homage to classic 80s horror movies. It, those stereotypical slashers like Friday the 13th, Halloween, Scream, all these different horror movies. It's basically just telling a very typical, very stereotypical story about a group of camp counselors who go out after dark and get a little bit too drunk until a masked killer arrives and they have to try and survive the night. And I was thinking if I was ever gonna direct a dance show, what would the theme be? And I was thinking about things that I love and horror movies came to mind. And I had the idea of taking the show and not just doing more of a themed dance recital, but making it a story. So Cole sent me a little DM on Instagram and was like, hey, I got this idea. <laughs> and I wanted, I want to propose for dance show, but I want someone with a little more dance experience. And I was both flattered and honored and a little shocked as well. We came up with a list of songs that we both love from the 80s that we thought could fit with certain classic stereotypes. We thought of the song Final Girl because that's a classic trope in horror movies. We thought of the song Maniac for a party scene. And eventually we took all these different songs and ideas that we had and said, if this was a plot, which song would come first? Where would it be? Yeah, I don't really like teach new dances to the cast. That's mostly a Cole and Jordan thing, but since I already know the numbers, if anybody has a question like, oh, I forgot what this move is, then I step in and be like, okay, this is what, um, this is what the next move is. Jordan and I went about the show by choreographing the dances. We split up the numbers, so it was like, okay, these six we'll do together, these six will be just mine, these six will be just yours, and we split it up and decided who was doing what. There were a handful of numbers, like the opening number we did together, um, the act one finale we choreographed together. Yeah, the ones that were kind of the smaller group numbers and had really fast paced, really precise, accurate movements, those were the ones I kind of took over. One of our number one goals throughout this process was to make it a learning experience for people because I think that coming into a show and just doing it and not really gaining anything is kind of boring. So we really told everyone in the cast from day one, even if, because some people were assigned parts, some people weren't, we said, by the fourth rehearsal, have a named role. Tell me what your character's name is and what your personality is. And we really created an entire story and cast of characters with just the idea of the dance. Yeah. So I've been dancing since I was um, three years old and I've always loved dancing. So the dancing part came easier than the acting part of this. Um, I've always been a fan of horror movies and stuff like that. So kind of to take on the role of this, I would watch some of my favorite horror movies and then kind of go through my lines and listen to the music and just kind of have fun with it and try new things the whole time. So based on who your character is, you start to like um, play with the other cast members, like um, yeah, you can do like a partner work with somebody, even to the audience, like you can tell, you don't have to say it with words, but the way you're dancing, like you can tell the audience, like, okay, this is who I am, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> the number one thing that is important about players to me is that this is an organization for non-theater majors to feel welcome. You know what I mean? It's a lot of people who they might not want to be doing this as their career. It's for fun. And I wanted to take all these different people and say, what's your personal goal? Where's an area you can improve? What can you bring to the show? Because I think that we've taken everybody's individual skills and really highlighted them individually. And every single person in the show, this is a very big point of Jordan and mine's, we made sure that every single person got at least one featured moment to show off their skills and their character because that's what we're here for. And that's my favorite part is being able to learn from these people and say, wow, that's something that I never would have even thought of or people who have different skill sets from mine. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. Because for instance, even Jordan and I, we're very different dancers and very different choreographers and watching people learn and ask great questions. I love being able to learn from them. I love the cast so much. This entire process has been so fun. As you know, Players is a student run um, club. It's run by the SGA and everybody is so nice and so fun and so welcoming that the whole process has just been like we're all hanging out and doing something we love. We're a really like tight-knit cast so 
once this whole process is over, we're all gonna miss each other. But uh, I think we've all created strong bonds that will we'll continue like keeping in touch.